I forgot what I wanted to sing, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Robert De Niro's waiting, talking Italian, talking Italian. Shin Pazali is waiting, talking ta- Turkashian, talking Turkashian. David Lyle is waiting, talking Slovakian, talking Slovakian. This is Random Urban Memories, brought to you by the Rum Boys. You've seen, heard, or felt it on the streets. Well, we're here to talk about it. In three, two, one. This is this is how we start, man. It's a David Rama. Beautiful voices. Banana Rama. Exactly. Nobody knows the song, but it's always on the radio. They have is so it? many hits, actually. I don't really listen to the radio very much. I know, like I, I, that's the only song that I know from them. But like, I check the yeah. YouTube, and yeah. it seems that they have like quite a lot of, like a lot of singles actually. Oh. That you would just because like you always hear these songs like they're like classic hits, mm-hmm. and you never kind of like you're like I don't even know who is singing this. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. what's this? What's the song like the town song from um, what's this? Lynette, the Irish Irish singer. Oh, Phil Leonard. Oh, yeah, 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 Phil yeah. Leonard. Yeah, yeah. And um, I never knew that he it was actually him singing the song. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. And so, like, there's like multiple songs that like I never. You knew. You know. You know. You, you know, know them. You know yeah, what what yeah. they're saying and what is like the melody <laughs> and all of that. But you just don't know who it is. You just don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before we kick it off today, um, I had been requested by by uh, somebody. If you're listening to this before the 22nd of March 2019, there is seems to be a very worthwhile cause. Uh, with it's in aid of Alive Inside and the Western Alzheimer's Association. Um, it's going to be on Friday, 22nd of March, in the Roisin Dove in Galway, in Ireland, and it's going to be uh, musical acts uh, including Rise, uh, the Choir, Galway, Baytones, and a bunch of rock bands, um, uh, Vulture Casino and Barden. Doors open at 8.30 and tickets are 10 euro. And this is for the Galway Salt Hill Rotary Club, Rocks Against Dementia. And I think it's based on the concept of that Alzheimer's and dementia patients can react very well therapeutically while listening to headphones, giving them focus and being able to um, give them an immediate and positive effect mm. of, of music. So, yeah, that's maybe something uh, a worthwhile cause. You can go check it out uh, on the gig itself, uh, roshindove.net, or you can go further, you can find further details on Facebook under Galway Salt Hill Rotary or Western uh, dot Alzheimer's under their pages. So, we hope you go it's, check it out. It's weird when you are mentioning actually headphones. Like, <laughs> did you ever notice, like, when you put headphones on, yeah. they, you don't even have to have them, like, like listen, listen to anything. But for some reason, for me, yeah, my concentration goes high, high, high up. For some, there is no like I, I don't know how to yeah. explain it, but it's like both I ears? always feel, yeah, both both ears. Yeah. It doesn't have to be even like a, in a loud environment that I need to kind of mm-hmm. like zone out or anything like that. But like if I put them on, for some reason, like I used to do this like when I was in college, that I just put them on and so suddenly I just started to concentrate much more on what yeah. I'm doing. It might have something like a. It might be like a psychological. That's psychological thing that. Well, I tell you what. Triggers. You know what? It, I think it does. It's just quite simply, yeah, because you're drowning out the surrounding hmm? nonsense or something. I'm kind of the other way. I because I, you know, the way. Well, obviously, your inner ear is is kind of. Not kind of. It is bound to your balance yeah. as well. Uh, I find, like, for example, we were talking about before we went on air about uh, noise cancelling headphones and then the Bose quiet uh, headphones or whatever. Yeah. Uh, once they turn on their insane noise ca- cancelling, it's like a vacuum gets turned on, yeah. like an audio vacuum. And that irritates my balance. It feels a little bit alien to me, you know? Yeah. Right? So it's kind of goes, and you're like, what? Yeah. Quiet. <laughs> um, and that, I, well, maybe it's something you need to get used to. But uh, when I walk around and everything, I only have one earpiece in. That mm-hmm. keeps me um, still focused on my surroundings or in case a car is about to hit me or something like that. <clears throat> but it gives me the background then. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And that includes working, weirdly enough. <laughs> so even when I'm at work, I'll have one ear in yeah. and then keep going. I don't yeah. know, but you know the, the, the sound, like super soundproof, like rooms? 
You know, like you can get crazy in them. Where, I think it's like you can only not spend like around 10 minutes. And yeah, you, you cannot spend more more cuckoo. because like suddenly, yeah. like you will literally start to hear <clears throat> the blood flowing through your veins. Oh, that sounds crazy. Like imagine like just amplified, like everything that you mm. hear about yourself, like you might, you might just touch your like, like let's say hair on yeah. your, on your arm or something like that. And it just amplifies so much that you, that's the only thing that you it's can like hear. A, it's like an uh, audio dead zone or something like that, isn't it? It must be something like that. Wow, I don't know. Like, I would crazy. love to. I would I love just, to just, just, I would just try it. And yeah. then it's like, they would forget. <laughs> they would just go for lunch or something. Like that. And you would be like, Form! And it's just like, just holding, holding, holding on there and just trying to like survive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying not to move too much and not to breathe because then you would hear everything. You know? yeah. So, um, yeah, but I would, I would love, to, I would love to try that actually. It would be, it would be interesting. So yeah. we we have a couple of um, interesting um, themes today. Um, it has been a while. It is yeah. good to see you again. Um, yeah, there's a lot been lot been going on in the meantime. Got a baby yeah. boy now. Congratulations, actually. Thank you very way. much. Man. <laughs> good job. <laughs> good job. Um, yeah. So that's that's uh, that that was part of the the, the calendar um, blocker and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's all going well. Happy and healthy. Um, yeah, but we're going to get back on track anyway. But yeah. It's just a lot of back and forth. And we're going to have another good bunch of episodes coming out very soon. Some yeah. interesting interviews too that we've got to sign off on. Um, yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Like I was trying to like do the research on the, on the one that we are planning on the... The cattle farmer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was trying... Well, A, for some... And for some reason, it's just very hard to find... The like, let's say, I don't know. I found like few podcasts, but with her, but I don't know whether she's doing like her own podcast. Uh, not that I know of. No, I don't no. think so. No, she has it's her own like, Instagram. She has yeah, a profile, because I was going through through speaking. that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but I think that then then I was like, I even texted him like, I cannot find anything, <laughs> and I went and I thought it's like, oh yeah, you know, Shane is gonna prepare like let's say ten, fifteen questions. It was like three A four pages of like freaking like going deep. <laughs> I'm like. There's no even an answer to this. Like you already have the answer on this. Like I don't even have to write anything. Like it's, I felt so so weird. I'm like, <laughs> now he will, he will think that it's like I'm not putting the word. No, but I was like no, literally no. like the. I was like I had set time for doing the research on this, and I'm like, and then I go through it, and I'm like, okay, that's it. Like there is no more that I can add because. But you know what though, you were coming in on the on the deep end and towards once once we're now gonna set a date for the interview. Yeah. I have been following it for nearly two years on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. But also parallel to that, there's been other uh science sites that I've been following. Yeah. So a lot of there's a lot of um interconnection um, interconnection between them. So yeah, yeah. GMOs is one of them and I've got a lot of people posting yeah. Non true things on Facebook. Yeah, and there's yeah, yeah. a few things about uh, the farming industry that are quite dodgy and that yeah. kind of stuff. So that's why I had a good baseline that I've mm-hmm, always wanted mm-hmm, to discuss mm-hmm. with somebody who's actually in the industry and understands it. Yeah, yeah. That's why it was so full because that's two years of accumulated yeah, questions yeah, yeah, yeah. of me thinking through Facebook. So yeah, yeah. that's the reason because there's a lot. But it's of interesting. It's, it's, it's yeah. interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to yeah, like be, hearing it. You know, just to yeah. just to be there. Um, yeah, and um, what else happened in between? Well, you watched a ton of documentaries. That oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Catch <laughs> and up, that but... brings us to the new topic. Yeah, we'd segue yeah into so those. like the like there's like crazy amount of documentaries going on at the moment yeah. about around like child molesting I <laughs> and like know. just weird people and like just uh, you know like you have the abducted abducted in plane site on uh, Netflix. Yeah. So that kind of that was actually in between. So I we started to watch I Kelly, so, you know, surviving I Kelly. We. I'm at fifth episode out of the six, and yep. the first three were just like, I'm like, you are just wondering how come that all of these people, yeah, did not care or like were overlooking what was what was happening if it's true, you know? Yeah, because yeah. then again, it's like all of these documentaries might be might not be true. You never know, you know. Yeah. People can can pick it up. I mean, most likely it is true, but you never know. Yeah. So the. The R. Kelly one is more kind of like how he was, how he was using his persona, but like in a weird way. And everybody was just fine with the, the whole yeah. thing and how he was. And, and it's not only about, um, basically having, having sexual relationships with like minors, but it's mm-hmm. also about his behavior towards like his wife and like his girlfriends and all of this, yeah. 
who were like who were adults. You mm. know, he was like in the end, it was like they found out that he had a cult or something like that. And, oh, yeah. uh, and then he puts the interview or like let's say there there is a question uh, asked by the interviewer. He he asks him, it's like, have you ever had like sexual relationship with like a minor? Mm. And he looks at him and he's like, specify minor. It's like you either say yes or no. What the fuck? But you don't yeah. ask for like a, a confirmation of like what are you actually asking, you know? Yeah. So like very weird, very weird things that, that you are kind of like going through. And then in the end, they just show like all of these people that were affected and like what he was doing with them and that he was like still flirting. So he, when he had the court case, he yeah. was still kind of like as he was going to the, to the court. Uh, there were like fans around the the courthouse, and he was still smiling at them and like flirting with those with those girls and shit like that. So it's like yeah. he they had no he had no kind of like like blocker or filter for him to say it's like oh no this is actually fine, okay. you know. Yeah. But then it seems that he was molested when he was a when he was a kid. Okay. Yeah. Um, then the second one was abducted in plain sight on Netflix. Mm-hmm. I heard it's that. Pro- it's it's. it's I mean, all of them are horrendous, even in in, yeah, yeah. in, in their in their base story. This one, such, so this but, one happened like in I think seventies, seventies, yeah. um, and basically it was based on the like how people are. I don't know if they were naive or they were just not. They were just stupid, like plain mm-hmm. stupid, because it was about a guy who was kind of manipulating the whole family, so he was molesting the the girl. Apparently, who was like twelve mm-hmm. at that at that point, but then he had. <laughs> you have to watch it. It's just really, really weird. Like he was it's super messed up. Like the whole family was affected in a, such a way that nobody from the from uh, mom, dad, and the girl were not affected by his what he was doing. So it's mm-hmm. just, and he was a master manipulator. Plus, he was like constantly like. Um, Kind of like chasing, chasing them in a way that it's like he kept calling them. He yeah. kept asking and he was like just brainwashing them from the first moment. But then to gain the, access, to gain access. Yeah. But then he was, but then to, from my point of view, they seem to be also kind of like to me, they just look stupid because there were certain things that nobody with yeah. a, with a normal like adult would let this person do yeah. in terms of like, Oh, so he comes in and he's like, yeah, so, uh, the doctor, the doctor told me, he's like, yeah, so you seem to be like a child molester. But the, but the way he said it to the, to the parents was like, but he, the doctor told me that I need to be, um, to fight this disease or like this yeah, illness. Yeah. I have to, uh, start to be in contact with like children. So, they, so he says, like, and oh he told me God. that I need to be sleeping in the bed with your, with your daughter. So they let him sleep with the daughter four nights a week for like six months or something like that. You know, it's just ridiculous fucking shit. What? You know, you're like, I, I don't, and then, and then they ask him, it's like, so was it not strange? And they're like, yeah, it was like 70. So we didn't know what pedophiles or molesters were. Do you need a fucking Wikipedia page for like for saying that something is weird, you know, or that it's just not normal, you know? He tried it with with their neighbor. The neighbor was like, "Fuck off!" Yeah, like, no, you know, it's just so weird. Like you are looking at this and you are like, like, we didn't say a word. No, no, sorry, we didn't say a word throughout the Michael Jackson one. Yeah. Through net through this Netflix one, we were we are on it. And every two minutes, we were just watching it. What the? What the fuck? <laughs> and then you are just changing the position because you are just, you just get close. Yeah. We found ourselves getting closer and closer to the TV, whether yeah. it, this is a reality that we are watching or not. Like, literally, you are watching it. Like, what the fuck? You know? So that one was like, <laughs> was like everybody was talking about it yeah. for like a week. And then the Michael Jackson one came out. Yeah. And we watched it like, Last Sunday, I just watched the first part, but that one is like if if that is true, and I think, and it seems that yeah. they that they are saying that they are say that they are, are being truthful about it. That's he was like up. he was f- fucking fucked up, and plus 
in this case, I think that the parents were not stupid. They, they were just greedy. Yeah. Because, like, once one guy said, like, after the after his first visit, he just gave me, I was like, what, seven years old? He gave me $800, $800 in, a, in an envelope. And that's to the kid. So... He must have given some money to the to the parents. So and then he started to take them to world tours, the whole family and all of this shit. And then after a while, he was working his way through. Yeah. And then and then uh, he just kept asking the parents, like, can 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 he like he can sleep with me in the bed like overnight? Like mm -hmm. you know, we'll just we'll just play. And then fucking shit was happening afterwards. If that's what what was happening. Yeah. But then there were like two guys because. Basically, what they were saying is like every year, every year he had a new kind of like boy around him. Yeah. Which was, which you can see, like there's a proof for that. Yeah. And um, so he was kind of like replacing them. But the, you know, two different people from two different, from two different times when yeah. they were his kind of like, not boyfriends, but like, you know, they, they yeah. were with him or on the tour. They were they were saying the same stuff, like how he, what he was doing and what he was okay, saying so and all of this all of this stuff. So it's like more to go along. Yeah. So it's like not something that it would be like one person says something in a different, completely different way in terms of behavior or yeah. in in terms of be behavior than the other person. So it's just you just start to look at it and you're like, what the fuck? Okay, that's that's a lot to unpack here, man. And I don't think we'll be able to do a full-on psychoanalysis and all these things. Yeah. But this this uh, personality cult as well, and it's something I want to touch on as well, the mm. whole, uh, can you separate the artist from the scandal? Or the yeah, yeah, exactly. The music as well. That's now, what, will you stop what, listening to Michael uh, Jackson? You know? Yeah, th that is exactly. something so exactly. quite difficult because you... Uh, anyway, I, I, I need to watch these because it sounds really fucked up. Uh, yeah, yeah. When I was... Um, at the bus yesterday with James, he was saying exactly the same thing. On the one hand, he was like, oh, dude, don't watch it. It's so fucked up, but you got to watch it. But <laughs> don't watch it. But, oh, you got to watch it. It's yeah, so messed yeah, up, you know? Yeah. But as well, wasn't there something behind it as well that the parents were in into this cult personality of Michael Jackson as well? Oh, yeah. So, therefore, they slipped into it yeah, without yeah. even realizing because yeah. they were because it was girling on Exactly. So, over. it was like these kids were more or less <laughs> – like one of them was imitator of Michael Jackson or they were like – they had him as a hero. Yeah. yeah. You know, they, for them, it was like a superhero. Yeah. One of them was with him in the, in the Pepsi ad. And then he started to like yeah. go and dance with him on yeah. the, on the, um, on the stage. And then just brought more and more and more kids to the stage. And like, it, it was just like, you're an, an adult. You're an ad, like a grown man. Why would you be bringing like all of these kids on the stage with you, like to perform, you know? Yeah. You know, it just makes no sense. And then it's just a constant brainwashing and just kept pushing, pushing and slowly adding more. And you could see like the things, you know, that he was like, just Twisting pe dials. people started to be moved to different rooms to be kind of like, you know, all of this. And then yeah. it's just weird, you know, then like we still need to watch the sec second episode, but it's a, like, mm. you watch it and you are like, if this is true, you were really fucking fucked up, yeah. you know? And then, but then, Exactly what you said. It's like if you take all of the artists. Now these are the these are the guys that were doing something with like which is technically uh, like it's banned by by the law. Yeah. Right. It's illegal to do it. Mm -hmm. Now you have all of these uh, these other artists that are like you know messing with uh, sex and orgies above eighty. Yeah. But then you have all of the. But then they might be doing even worse shit. Then these, I mean, not worship, but like they might be, they might be doing the same bad stuff, but like mm -hmm. still within the legal limit, you know? Yeah. And then nobody's thinking about those, you know? So it's like the, yeah. the whole fucking music industry and the whole business industry or whole uh, showbiz industry is so fucked up that it's, you are like, you, you just cannot. There's some darkness there. Yeah. Real darkness. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't know. And then to, to get to, to the thing about the, can you separate the artist from the, the music or whatever? Like, because you, regardless of what happened in the background, Michael Jackson's music is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. But then it carries the, the, the moral thing of, yeah. it, it is amazing. It sounds amazing. It's growing up with it. It made me feel amazing. 
but as as evidence seems to point that mm-hmm. way, he was abusing kids while making this music. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And who knows how many the thoughts behind the music or whatever is based yeah. on what he has done. Can you really separate it then? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what, I, would, I, I honestly, I don't know what to think, I think about it. Right away, you probably won't be able to, but like after after some time, you will just, yeah. you know, like even if you stop listening to it on the radio, it just comes up, and you will not realize, yeah, I, I, like I, I what, what is happening, you know. And as well as like this protectionist thing as well, like it was, I mean, my in my mind, it's yeah. we won't know unless say there's video footage or something like yep. that, but there's no particularly conclusive evidence. Again, I haven't seen it, yeah. but. Um, but these people either defending or attacking, mm-hmm. yeah. This video is not a trial, you know. It's there for you to to show you what evidence they have or indicators they have, and it's for yeah. you to make up your mind. Yeah. But I, I'm just so amazed at the immediate either attacks or the defense. And this happened with a couple of artists, where it's kind of like you weren't there. Why don't you reserve judgment first yeah, yeah. and see what happens? You know. Yeah. Because uh, I think it was the the Johnny Depp thing as well where it was uh, shown video a video clip of him an edited video clip of him shouting at um uh what was her name his um, wife not amber Heard. yeah 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 what's his what's his, his i don't know what's her what's her name but like the they got divorced like just recently yes yes yes, yes. so um uh, and basically it was just showing up uh, how he was shouting at her and it seemed very abusive yeah, yeah. that kind of thing yeah. you know and uh, but then it turns out that there's more to the video you yeah. know and then on the one hand on the one hand people were defending him i seen it on facebook and they're like oh, just because they idolized johnny depp and yeah, he's an amazing actor or whatever and immediately jumped to his yeah. defense and they're like oh no no but that that clip hadn't uh, that photo yeah, clip yeah. hadn't come out yet then that was shown and it turns out it's actually the other way around yeah. that she was quite abusive yeah, and yeah. i think it came up in a, in a court case recently as well that she has yeah. been known to be abusive towards yeah. her partners but either way, a defense or not, you didn't have the full story, but you immediately, because you love the actor, because you love him, then it's like, it. no, 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 exactly. it never happened. You know? Yeah. So again, I'll, 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 I need to watch those and see how I even feel about the whole thing. Because yeah. again, yeah, that, that, that's a kind of a creepy yeah. behind thought going, if this is true, and you know, I think it's, it's always safer, even statistically safer to err on the side of the victim. Yeah. yeah, because now we've come to a stage, um, especially with Trump uh, around the world, that kind yeah. of stuff, where it's it's immediately victim blaming. You know what I mean? You immediately come to this whole like, oh, us men can't even go out anymore just to because uh, you don't know if you're going to be rape accused or whatever. That percentage is actually incredibly minute mm-hmm. that that ever actually happens. It, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, it happens, but it's very, very minute. Mm-hmm. But immediately, it's it's victim shaming and victim blaming. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah, that that. Uh, slot. I mean, it's predominantly girls that do it, um, it or that, that are blamed or that yeah, are yeah, affected yeah. by this. And uh, it's, it's a lot of sh- crock of shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I know, it's crazy. And then now even in this, and again, yeah. it's, it's the, oh, the victims must be lying because yeah, this yeah. is our Michael Jackson that we yeah, know yeah. or our, our Kelly. Okay, that the fact that he had fans hanging around outside or whatever, even though it's well known what he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proof. There's yeah, a yeah. couple of videos He was going to fucking McDonald's and picking up girls <laughs> and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Weird. But, that, but that's a personality cult. Oh yeah, yeah. Of, level, of, of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make you a star. Just yeah. take my number yeah. and just come up to the to the <sighs> thingy. It's just so weird. But yeah, and, um, it, it's that thought. But when you were saying it. about when you were talking about the <coughs> um, the video, have you seen the? There was a protest. There was a protest, and they were like uh, American Indians had uh, like there was a multiple parties protest, and there is that this Navajo uh, like elder. Yep. And there is this white boy, and then even to me, like when I was watching on uh, when I was watching the video, the video seemed to me that he's like the the the, the white guy was mm-hmm. just showing us, his, hey, you can be singing whatever. here, whatever. Yeah. But then in the end, it turned out to be completely different. I was just I, I, I didn't see the whole thing, but then in the end, it was like even the guy who was like the in, uh, the what, what are they called Native Americans. Mm-hmm. Um, even he was saying that it's like no, no, no. It's actually it was the other way around, mm. apparently. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. If you've been catching any Joe Rogan's podcast or whatever, he was on about this a couple of times, and it turns out that immediately, uh, even if you'd seen the Jack Dorsey ones with Twitter yeah. and all that kind of stuff, um, 
It was it was interesting, yeah. Immediately it was a screenshot Sorry. and then people were calling for the yeah. deaths of those kids and they got threats and yeah. whatever. But then there's actually a backstory. Hold judgment first. Don't rush out. See what's in there. It was only a short clip, but what it actually was that he, a smug face, that's what he had. But that's only a short clip. But what happened was I think it was they, they were sitting there for ages playing the drums. And he, I think, is seeing, telling his the, his friends to actually calm down so that he can just calmly stand there. Because he didn't want any more confrontation. Because I think it was actually between them and some black Israelites or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were like, like there was, was like a third third party yeah, also. Oh, there was oh, there was about to kick off badly or something like that. You know what I mean? But again, you're absolutely right, hundred percent. That's a perfect case it's actually. So and then weird. people were calling for her deaths, and then it turns yeah. out it wasn't actually like that. Yeah. He stood still to de-escalate, and you can see him tell guys, "Shut up around me." You yeah. Know? So Brexit is happening, also few days uh, yeah. and two weeks and uh, today is like the last vote yeah today they are just uh deciding whether they are going to deal. no they said yesterday that they don't want to leave without without the deal and now they they just need to however the fact that they that they don't have a deal it is still legally binding for them to to be leaving so now today they should be just mm-hmm. voting whether they whether they postpone it by like few months or whether they will do like more oh but check. technically they can still leave yeah without the deal yeah but that's a disaster though oh that's, that's a the thing fucking disaster disaster dude nine months ago bbc mps vote 412 to 202 to seek delay to eu departure which they'll most likely be granted so it means uk may not have to leave on the 29th of march 2019 mm. uh, it could be delayed by three months but it's the whole system. I mean, I'm not too fully read up on it or whatever, but it's just watching Theresa May go out there the whole time. Because she was a Remainer before, you know? And then she's Prime Minister. That's literally her job. And she's like, I don't yeah. give a shit what you all think. This is what is the deal. Yeah, yeah, So fuck all of you. And then they're like, and Europe yeah, is but like, no. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Europe is her, like, Europe is her like, own party, nah. the opposition parties Everybody. in Europe. But she has to enforce what's legally, legally there, you know? That's and crazy. like I said, she was a Remainer. That's crazy. I think she should just fucking just 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 say it's like listen, let's just do a fucking re- another referendum. Like, do we want this That's, or not? You see, the thing is, yeah, like a uh, yeah, a good democracy kind of assumes um, an informed citizenry, and for that referendum, they were not informed. No, no, exactly. Like you're saying three hundred and fifty million. But then the whole referendum the was also like written in a weird way that even if you would be informed, you wouldn't know from well, those. I think it was like three questions. Yeah, yeah. It would be it would be very. Difficult for you, for people to kind of like vote properly. But then again, those are these these social media companies that had influence as well. They yeah. made those three million voters appear out of nowhere. <gasps> certain demographic, certain types of people that exactly. all of a sudden, oh, in exactly. 40 years, never voted, all of a sudden appeared Needed with to social vote. media attacks because the dirty ass foreigners coming into the country taking every well, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you yeah. saying? Yeah. Village there, but yeah, but there you go. You got racism again. And yeah. it wins the vote. Yeah, yeah. No, no, exactly. And or like there's a there was a clip of a flower shop owner. Yeah. And they showed and he's like he's like, So did you you voted for like leaving the EU? And he's like, Yeah, it's gonna affect my family, it's gonna affect my business, oh, all yeah. of my employees. I need to pay my mortgage. <laughs> I need to figure out like how am I going to do this and all this. Like I cannot have like flowers like waiting in the by customs to, to do this. And they're like, yeah, yeah. But you voted. But you voted no. Like to leave. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, but I, I, yeah, I did. And they're like, did you not think that it will affect you? And he's like, no, it didn't cross my mind. Like, you should just shut the, like, you should just shut your business, like, right away. And just, yeah. like, why are you even, like, how can you be, like, owning uh, a company? Yeah. Like, how can you be, like, who is... Entirely dependent on outside trade. Like, there's no fucking way. Do you know what you did? I'm going to play a sound effect for yeah. the first time. You know what you did? You, uh... <laughs> shot yourself in the foot. Shot your face in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, man, that is, that is the dumbest That's thing. So but weird. it's so weird. It's bizarre. But the demographics behind the, the voting as well, if you ever look at the color map no. of where it was. Well, sensible, certain demographic... And urban areas remain. Yeah. Rest. Villages and all of this. And it's like small towns. The typical typical stereotype of somebody you would imagine voting leave 
was now brought out to yeah, yeah, yeah. but anybody or more, yeah. a lot of people under a certain and then they age move and all to, that kind of stuff then they try to move to Spain and like try to do the and do then the things, they and do then, the whole thing that other other people don't yeah, like yeah exactly it's like, like oh, come on man God. like Oh, that's, it bothers me on a really odd level. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean, like it's, it bothers me because I need to. We need to be managing all of the transmission. Like it's a lot of shit that we that even. Oh yeah, we need to do. Yeah, that's true. You know, like yeah. you need to set up. Like you have like all of these logistical problems. Everything plus Which are being managed from here. Then everything that needs to be everything that needs to be like what are they going to prioritize if they if there is a no deal? Mm. They are going to prioritize food and medicine. Nobody's going to be ordering fucking... Nobody's going to be pushing... Lambs. Lambs or like, I don't know, USB cables or <laughs> anything. Yeah. Anything else that you... Toys. Yeah. You know, anything that you... Like, new shoes. You know, nobody gives a fuck. Like, there will be people... People yeah, will be course, affected man. by this. And people who need medication, not people yeah. who get sick, like you you get a flu or something like that. Yeah, yeah. People who need, like, a proper medication, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. How, are, how are they going to do it? If, if this goes through, like... Without the deal mm. and with customs, fuck that. Yeah, same with the Northern yeah. Irish border or whatever as well. They, it's a lot of people don't – some people think it's like, ah, well, wait, why can't they just? Why can't they just do this? Why can't they just do that? They can't. But it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Once they leave the EU, they become a different economic – go into yeah, a different yeah. economic or zone. Or you do Norway. You do. You could do Norway. Uh, but that's the thing though. Britain already had favorable things. They had their own currency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had some uh, some different uh, conditions that they were attached. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Was, including fishing water stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. They were already already uh, fine, favorably yeah, yeah, yeah. treated in yeah, the UK yeah. uh, because they didn't want to lose their kind of colonial ego kind of thing. Um, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, you, you, Juncker is like, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, is is the oh yeah with the whole the backstop uh, issue and then the the Northern Irish border is like a lot of the Brits and MPs don't realize what that actually means because yeah. <laughs> apart from saying why doesn't Ireland just join the UK again <laughs> what the fuck yeah. um but it's the North and the South that border becomes a hard border because it's through favorable agreement and being within the EU yeah, they were yeah, able exactly. to abolish and just make it like and a ghost have, border kind exactly, of thing exactly exactly but now but now you will have to do it northern ireland will be, go out of the eu yeah, yeah. which means you have to protect your borders you'll have to have border control exactly. you'll have to and people don't cop to, cop onto that yeah, yeah. i mean they'll do their best they'll arrange as best as yeah. they can as quick as they can but it's it's a fact yeah. once you cross the border you're not in the eu anymore yeah, yeah. so passports checks whatever it's crazy yeah, crazy. it's it's nuts, man. And then I, it's nuts. I, IRA will come back and all this shit. It's like, Dude, there, are, there was, there was there a were, talk uh, about letter, this something. Letter, letter, yeah. letter, there were, they suspected letter bombs. it's uh, letter bombs being yeah. sent to, to transport agencies. But in, I wonder if there was a kind of like, uh, not hoax, but like that somebody was using kind of like IRA name. name. It could be the new, one of the new branches of the IRA, which are basically just gun runners and no, they're, they're yeah. basically drug dealers. Yeah. Um, and maybe that, that's kind of a warning as in like, we're still here kind of thing. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's lunacy, man. It's, it's crazy. We are crazy. People are crazy. People are shit. How can we be so fucking we're, stupid? Like, we're so fun. Why could we just not be working towards like destruction, man? No, not, why can we not be working towards <laughs> like good? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? So, no, that's exactly right, what it okay, seems like. Okay, Shane, you seem to be a bit radical today, <laughs> man. No, no coffee for you anymore. My, my apologies. Uh, no, no, but like, for, just for good, just work for like low cost, low prices. Everybody happy, everybody healthy. I don't know, like few, like it's few things. Everybody educated, mm. if you want to. But no, we just have to have we're, these dicks around in the in the society who are like sliding backwards. But I want on so this. Issues. I want this for my for I me know. and for my family and for you and fuck you and fuck this and fuck this and fuck him and I want to be better than you and all of this yeah, shit. Yeah, it's just fucking crazy. We're we're sliding back on so many things, honestly. Yeah, and it's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. like we have so much potential as a human race, man. We're just, yeah, yeah, exactly. We've accomplished so much. Yeah. We went to the moon, like. Fuck. Who we didn't? <laughs> <laughs> we went to the moon, like. <laughs> but, but here we are, yeah. worrying about. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, it's like it's, we are just making our life more complicated. Like, I know. why would you? Like, which normal person would be like, listen, you can either keep what you are doing, and you are going yeah. to get benefits, or you are going to be losing, yeah, on stuff. Plus, 
your <laughs> your life will be more complicated. What are you going to choose? Did you know what's you know that that decision has been taken out of their hands in certain countries in certain ways in certain yeah. policies and Brexit or whatever out of future generations. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If this, if this goes ahead as the mess that is, that it is, already yeah, exactly. sixteen year olds are kind of yeah. sitting there going, "Guys, that's my college application gone now because I won't be able to get a grant or yeah, exactly. get at this." Yeah, yeah, it's the future generations I'm worried about, man. There should be. A, why don't they just do a fucking limit for voting? You cannot vote if you are above certain age because <laughs> it's not going to affect you. <laughs> yeah, but it's ale. <laughs> I had this discussion with somebody. I think we talked about it some such yeah. as well. Yeah, but that's discriminatory. We're living longer, healthier lives. But then discrimina- discrimination is also like pushed by laws a lot of times, right? Yeah. So why don't you just but, set a I law mean, and it's like, well. I mean, on the one hand, if the, a certain demographic keeps but voting if, shitly, if I would be affected by it, then I would be like, yeah, I'm fucking 70. Like, I'm not going to do anything. Like, I'm not saying the, the limit needs to be 70. I'm just saying it's like, I would be certain age and I'll be like, yeah, just. What, 85? Like, they are fighting. They are fighting for their, they want to have better future. So let them vote for it and then let them take the responsibility of it because it's not going to affect me anymore. Yeah. But then, for example, if you have an 85 year old who say, for example, Brexit was actually an amazing idea. Yeah. Which they sold it as, but. And it could reduce the cost for the, and ah, oh, here's a perfect example. Remember they said we can pump 350 million a week or a month, whatever it was back into the NHS, yeah. into the National Health Service of the UK. If you're an 85 year old, slightly racist old man, but if they could have implemented it beforehand or even in the two yeah. years, there's a good chance that you, you could have uh, get some better healthcare because of it. But you already get it. Like you're in the UK. You know, like they don't have oh, the yeah, same yeah. problem as but, we have in but Ireland. If they were able to pump 350 million more into it oh, per, yeah, week, yeah. per month, all of a sudden the physio you've been waiting on for six months, you can have every yeah, week but then now. Who would be so stupid that would be also believing that they they are going to put it back into like healthcare? Oh, well, listen, that's what they sold it on. That's the whole yeah, point. Yeah, but of, that's but the that thing, means yeah. that 85 year old won't be able to vote on it, you know? If you're 85 year old and you believe like yeah. fairy tales, you shouldn't be, hey, you shouldn't be allowed you, to vote. Do you know what? Right? I think there should be a mandatory exam about whatever it is you're voting on. Yeah. A referendum. Exactly. You pass, you yep. do your test. Here's one you referendum, two referendum, yeah, yeah, exactly. referendum, answer 10 questions on each. If you don't fucking understand it or get one wrong. You cannot vote. You have Simple. To, you have to do a class <laughs> on the referendum where, where it's neutral. No, you're not allowed. You. <laughs> no, you're not allowed until you pass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would clear shit up right away. Oh, a lot of shit. Real yeah, quick. Yeah. Real fucking yeah. quick. And it's just only the people who actually understand it. Yep. That's a good point. But then it will be public questions. And then people would, would be tell will be told it's like, yeah, you have to No man, this, you've this, got this. AI generating questions. Mm. Nice. Like like random. Forward thinking. And then random generated under different scenarios or whatever. There mm-hmm, you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. See? Look. Like, in Slovakia, we still don't have like uh, online voting, so it's like it it wouldn't work anyway. Can you vote? Can you vote here? Um, I could, but I'm not registered. But like you, you have we to. Can. No, I mean local can. local elections as well. Uh, yeah, but you you need to be registered. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Have you got citizenship? No. So that means that's what that's why I was asking. Can you vote here in the local? I am an immigrant. <laughs> Did you take my job? <laughs> I am <laughs> technically yes. <laughs> Uh, listen, you left the company, okay? <laughs> you had a bright future in that company, but I take it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, no, but, um, yeah, I, yeah, I was just like, it's a bit expensive, like, to, to, to do the passport and sit in a ship at the moment. Yeah. It's like 1200 in total. Speaking of, uh, integration, possibly reintegration, mm-hmm. ISIS brides. Oh my God! How are Ooh. you coming up with all of these bridges to the new I topics? Segway champion! Jesus. Hashtag segway! Hashtag segway! <laughs> Will I give you my opinion on it? Uh, well, first tell me what's going on because I I know about sorry, like I know a bit yes. about it, but I don't I don't know the full story to be honest. Basically, and I think this is happening because ISIS is being dismantled bit by bit and they're fleeing yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the cities and strongholds that used to be strongholds or whatever. Yep. I think that's why Trump is shitting on that ISIS is defeated, but what he's doing is actually spreading yeah, yeah, yeah. the problem and radicalizing different areas. But anyway, um, but a lot of people are now disappearing. Mm-hmm. 
that also means the harems that they've been keeping the the forced brides or the the willing brides whatever you may call it these all these these people yeah. are now streaming back in the UK this had happened there was a girl yeah i heard about that that yep. case uh, Shamima Begum, mm-hmm. it was, but she had come on to ITV News, I think it was, and kind of stated how she still agreed with ISIS and she was happy with it or whatever, but she made that publicly open. And then the uh, um, the Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, has announced the plans to revoke the citizenship of her. That's a mixed kind of thing, because the reason why she wanted to come back to the UK is because she already had two kids die uh, close to childbirth because yeah. of the, the wretched state and the, the camp that she was in. And she just wanted to get her son home uh, because he, because of her citizenship, he would automatically be able to, and he had nothing to do with ISIS, obviously. Yeah. He's just a newborn baby. And she wanted to get hit, uh, hit him home. Yeah, All right. All these babies. Well, he was actually an ISIS <laughs> baby. That's where the trouble came. She had pledged still kind of an allegiance yeah. to ISIS and she agreed with it or whatever, but she just wanted to get the son home, expecting to be treated well in the UK. But she goes, oh, yeah, ISIS is okay. Now, this had this had been going on for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And like I said, there's more and more cases cropping up now because now people are kind of coming in through various channels back yeah. into, into Europe. And I, I can only guess US, Canada and everywhere else as well. Mm-hmm. But there was a, a, a um, Irish soldier called Lisa Smith and she was... Uh, she became a nicest bride oh, after I, I think she met a, a Dutch fella who became radicalized. She wants to come home, wanted to come home, but now there's different stories. Who knows what's been spun in the background? Uh, she was tricked there. She was supposed to help children, but then, um, it turns out that she was kind of forced into all of this. Yeah. yeah. But she had converted, uh, she had converted to Muslimism, but, uh, to, to Islam before that. So she was wearing hijab and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, but. <laughs> Muslimism. What's that? <laughs> like, I, I like how we are trying to <laughs> trying to stay on topic and like put like all of the all of the context like properly, and then we Minor and then we call Islam Muslimism. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me English, good. <laughs> me, me English, good. <laughs> and um, yeah, so she's looking to, to yeah. come back now because the area has been dispersed. Now, the Prime Minister Leo Varadkar had said that. She uh, has permission to return home, Mm -hmm. okay, despite of the background, despite of what she has seen, maybe done, who knows what she's up to now. The super racists who don't think about actual law are like, well, fuck her, whatever, blah, 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 and then, oh, she could have done this and she could have done that. Or it's good for her, she should stay in Syria and get bombed or whatever. But the point behind it is that until proven, uh, innocent until proven guilty, she... But if it's like if she hasn't done anything, and maybe she was actually just an ISIS bride, yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever, yeah, yeah. false pretenses, or yeah. maybe she idealized it and thought it was amazing, and then all of a sudden she just kept in a in a room for, yeah, for yeah. years. Um, regardless of what the background is, or mm-hmm. she has she is radicalized but needs to get out of there quickly in case yeah. she, the 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 Kurds kill her. By law, though, there's nothing stopping her from coming back. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? She hasn't been. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she she's acute or suspected she didn't do anything of something. In the ice of law, she hasn't done anything yet. She's still an Irish citizen. She's an ex-soldier. It doesn't matter if she's an ex-soldier or not. She's still an Irish citizen who has a right to come home. Yeah. But people are flipping out over this man, and they're calling out. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, uh, uh, and fucking Indian uh, prime minister would of course say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, all the types of foreigners and all that kind of stuff, which is silly. Yeah. yeah. But fact is, like, I would have my doubts, though, in general, about all of them. Anybody returning, A, from a war zone, yeah. B, from a radicalized uh, uh, war faction, yeah, I would be worried about each and every one of them. Like, I'm not one to yeah, shout um, um, fear and So technically, they don't do anything about it, but they just let people get in. So, but uh, they need to be surve- uh, surveillance. They need to be monitored. They need to be fucking interrogated for months. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, until... <laughs> but we don't do that. The CIA does. But like the, the, to break them and see how yeah, they yeah, become yeah. radicalized. Yeah. I don't know. I've got mixed feelings. On the one hand, yeah, uh, it's uphold weird. the law. Yeah. Like you understand it, but it's like they're, it's. They're suspected of something. Yeah, yeah. Not even accused. Yeah, yeah. But on the other hand, though, you need to sometimes throw protocol at the window maybe a little bit and keep ultra surveillance on them. Yeah. I mean, they have to understand. Yeah. If you come back or whatever, you're going to have a cop car outside your house for six months. Yeah. That's weird. Like. But again, at the, on the, on the, the cost of the state. <laughs> so yeah, yeah that's uh, the thing. It's like it's hard to it's hard to control this. Yeah, I mean, if it's like a, if it was an ISIS fighter and there's evidence of him fi- fighting or something like that, then you can say, well, you fought in a, uh, a war, an illegal war, or you fought, you, you did 
Yeah, yeah something, like whatever. on the enemy enemy side. So you so just have to go into membership of a terrorist organization. Yeah, you should be done. Yeah, but what do you do if you're? But then, a, we, do we bright? even have law, proper laws for this? Like is membership of anti-terrorist a, yes, law yes. like yeah. Mem- covering this? Yeah, membership of a terrorist organization is illegal, whether foreign or domestic. But then, if they were with them, hmm? if they were with them, I, like, or yeah, do you oh, need to sorry. wait? Or I hear you. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. that gray area. Okay. You don't know if she held a weapon in her hand. Did she fight? Yeah. Or was she crammed into a dark room only used yeah. for, for sex and, and yeah. food? Yeah. It's a gray area. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. So that's something I don't know what I was thinking about. And she was doing the same, the, the UK girl? What is she? What, what was her background? Because we were only talking about the Irish girl. And she wa- she just wanted to uh, go back? or and she was defending them? Also, or something like that? No, she fairly openly spoke about how she was still sympathetic to ISIS and she didn't particularly see anything wrong with what they did. Yeah. But her situation is a little bit different. She went over when she was 15 or 14, her and a friend uh, <clears throat> smuggled themselves through um, uh, one of the one of the boor- uh, borders yeah. and uh, just managed to get in that way. But then she mm-hmm. was married off very, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, again, as 14, 15. So her story is just a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if she's, but she must obviously be brainwashed or whatever. But her yeah. concern was her concern was more about the boy. But she was very blasé about the whole. Oh no, well, I just all right. Like she had no problem with it. Yeah, you know. So that's we, we very we, worrying. We had barbecue every Sunday and shit. Yeah, chilling. <laughs> very Beer. worrying. You Beer. know what I mean? If there's someone like that's that. That's weird. Yeah. So yeah, those um. And these are just like the public public ones where we where the. You know, uh, that comes up, like, but they like, ministries have to deal with now. Like so many people, yeah, yeah. And... so many people like move, moving around, like Europe, mm. especially like Europe, you know, and where it's like a lot of people went over, yeah, a lot, a lot of people, yeah, 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 from from Europe or who were like originally probably from there, also, or like, or even could be no, but a lot of you radicalized Europeans, man, yeah, yeah, like so German, weird. Dutch, there's a bunch of Dutch that yeah, went yeah. as well, a lot of young girls went. But then we had like you know when there was like the conflict on Euro Ukraine, like yeah. we had Slovaks fighting there also. It's like, oh, um, bro, like do you need X- to do this? Like, USSR Patriots or oh, something? Or what? Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. But like Slovaks who still believe that it's just. Oh, you had a lot. You had a lot of so uh, fucking weird. Like we have like we have a guy who is. Um, they are so they're like. Right wing, right right wing party, and we are just about to have a presidential election, and he is running also. So they were like in parliament before, or like they're still yeah. now. He's running for the president. Uh, he was. He's actually the. He was the head of co- county where I live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he's just. They're just so freaking radicalized, and they just cannot shut them down. Like for some reason, they, or no, somebody just doesn't want to do it. And like every time that he is given a, do- a donation, it's like fourteen hundred eighty-eight euros or something like that. that yeah. They're like, "Why are you giving the- this sum?" Because it's like called for like fourteen was like fourteen laws of the uh, Aryan race or something like that. Like a manifesto. And then eighty-eight was like Heil Hitler or something, something yeah, like yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. And um, so these are like codes. Uh, to show that it's like, oh, how much did how much did he give? And it's like, oh yeah, fourteen hundred eighty eight. So it's like the ne- the Nazis the yeah, neo Nazis yeah. know that it's like, oh yeah, That's... oh our leader did this and like you know just it's such a stupid thing that it's like you we know that you believe in it, yeah, but you still have to be but you are still coding what you are doing mm. because you are technically you are not allowed to say it. So it's like, mm. what are you going to achieve by the fact that you just say that you just code this sum? You know, mm. and they're super like they're super happy about it. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're like, <sighs> like there's the documentaries about neo Nazis. It's like, yeah, but like it says eighty eight, isn't eighty eight like or eight, yeah, yeah. eighteen? It's like Adolf Hitler. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then there's like a documentaries of like German neo Nazis, and they're like, yeah, but like, <laughs> but like it's just a number. Yeah, it's just a number. <laughs> and then. Oh, I, I can sell this. It's like no problem, you know. And it's it it, it 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 sounds like you are fucking like a like a fetishist or something. It's just so like that. It makes You're you like it. Club. 
it makes you so aroused. Like these numbers make you so aroused. Yeah. Did you, did you have to code your fucking language into numbers? You know, it's ridiculous, man. You know, it's like, where's the belonging, man? So fucking crazy. You know, that's interesting to see a good dose of, uh, autocratic, fascist, fascistic neo Nazis floating around again. You know what I mean? It's it's incredible. It's crazy. It's, it's incredible. It's crazy, like especially like we, around like we around had, Europe. It's just... Like Europe was was founded. I mean, that's not to say it's running perfectly. But by all means, no. But the European Union, apart from economic union, was founded so as to prevent the world, all of the this. Second World War yeah. and the First World War. Yeah, and now you have and like we have had seventy years of peace, and you have right wing parties now in European and Parliament now coming back. from Hungary. Yeah. From Every, us and do, everybody, Holland, every, Holland, everywhere, it's, yeah, and that's what all the 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 people, the last few remaining Second World War veterans are alive. They're all warning against. Yeah. That's what they're saying. They go, guys, we've like, done this before. And these guys start to question like exactly a Holocaust or something. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, that, that didn't happen. It's like, I, what? Like, are you for real? Yeah, you know, like do, stop doing this. All of these fucking conspiracies and all of this shit. Like, like don't be ridiculous you know there was a documentary about, did i tell you about this there was a documentary in czech and they were following a neo-nazi right and it was like a it was actually a good documentary to watch and then they brought him to um auschwitz and yeah <laughs> he started to fi- he started to argue with like a jewish lady that survived holocaust and he's like yeah but like oh, you guys God. had it like pretty okay you had cinemas in here and like you know that's like holocaust that's like just made oh up oh my god are you for real and she's like i survived i have i have been here i know yeah. and then his mom told told the crew that he's a that he, they had a, like a jewish part in the family or something but he doesn't know <gasps> and then they they told him at the end of documentary yeah. he was fucking he was like just he completely shut him down and had nothing to say. And it was just like, literally like, wow, what? You know? And, and she's like, yeah, yeah. Because like they were, they were always arguing. There was like, yeah, yeah. So he lived with his, with his parents and they were always arguing with his mom. Yeah. And she just spit it out to him. Oh man. And he was like, whoa. <laughs> that was like That's, the best fuck you. The like entire thing, identity thing to, gone. I'm like, <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's fucking ridiculous. Dumbass, man. Yeah. Stupid bastards. All right, dude. Yeah. We, we covered a few dark topics today. Yeah. Actually. yeah. Unusually, unusually dark topics, but I'm definitely going to have to go check out those, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. those documentaries. I'm those are good. scared of, of doing it, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. If you like, those. watch them, check them out. Will do. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us yet again for another episode. Thank you. Do catch us on as we always say all social media just search for random urban memories you'll find us but if you want to contact us directly on our business email uh it's rumboys with a z or z 101 at gmail.com if you have any ideas suggestions or anything that we even talked about that you'd like to uh, like to discuss hit us up whatever it is leave a comment like subscribe and all that all that goodness I guess. All, that, all that bs exactly you know what to do. You know how you to use the interwebs. You know where to find us. We love you. All right. Have a good one. See you guys. You managed to listen to the Rum Boys talk on random urban memories. Just like and subscribe where you can on all platforms.